Hi, I am Muhammad Shanawaz. Today I am going to show you how to integrate Google Mobile Ads SDK into Unity. This page shows GitHub repository for Google Ads mobile plugin. So just download this zip. I will include the, the this link into the description of the video. So don't worry about this. And this is the Google Developers page for Mobile Ad SDK. I will download this as uh, this uh, zip file. It says Google Mobile Ads SDK iOS. So this is version number seven point three point one. So I've already downloaded these files, and uh, these files uh, th these are the two files that uh, I'm just going to unzip one by one. Now I'll open Unity. I will use the sample project to demonstrate plugin integration. So I'll click on open other desktop Google Ads Mobile Plugins Master, then Unity, then samples, and hello world, then open. let me open this main scene so right now it is uh, showing some errors I'll open I'll move to desktop and Google Ads mobile plugins master folder then unity then source then assets grab these two folders and just uh, drag and drop into the assets folder of the sample project that I have opened in Unity. Errors are gone. So Google Mobile Ads demo script is the main script in which all the work has been already done. So I'll select main camera and just drag and drop this script into the script component it is showing that it is missing some script so I'll drag and drop this and double click it it will open this project into mono, mono develop so I'll go into the section where it says yeah this one insert iOS not this one this is request banner yeah uh, where it says insert iOS banner add unit ID here this is the place where uh, we will put the add unit id for ios banner and uh, let me show you where you can get one uh, but before that you need to have an add mobile add mob account for the same so this is the page uh, basically uh, this is the add mob page where you can just create new app which you want to monetize and then click uh, uh, then you can just add one add unit ID for iOS basically so I am here I have created one add mob test app iOS if you if you don't have uh, an app which you can monetize then click this monetize new app button then select uh, add your app manually and then give it a name and then uh, select whatever pr platform you are working uh, you want to you know create this app so I have used iOS for this demonstration purpose so I've already cre created that uh, uh, app so let me go <coughs> to this one now I need to create this, that uh, add unit so I'll create a new add unit it will ask me about the format that uh, I wanted to use but whether I want to use banner or interstitial so I'm using uh, banner for this same uh, for this demo leave everything as is just give this uh, add unit a name and then click save so it will create this uh, add unit id just grab grab this copy it then return to unity 
mono develop and uh, just paste this here just save it and then return to unity now click on build settings switch the platform to ios and then add current scene in the build then select player settings and go to other settings yeah other setting i mean the other settings and give it a unique bundle identifier that remain uh, reverse domain thing and then click build it will ask for a name for the build just give whatever you want it to give and then save yeah so build is successful double click hello world underscore ios and then click this ios uh, xcode project which will open the project in xcode now click on the uh, project and uh, go to build settings and search for apple llvm language module here it is and then enable modules by clicking uh, this yes one more thing i have to add the google mobile ads framework i'll right click on the project and then i add files to unity iphone and then i'll move to desktop google mobile ads sdk ius that sdk that we have downloaded earlier and then select google mobile ads dot framework and check the this uh, destination if it is not uh, if it is unchecked so this is necessary and uh, click add so this Google Mobile Ads Framework is added to my iOS project. Now I'll connect my iPhone and I'll start running it on my iPhone. Let's see. I hope it should work. The build is succeeded. Yeah, and the project is running on my iPhone. Let me switch to my iPhone. So the build is running on my iPhone. Let me just tap on request banner and it should fetch the banner. Yes, the banner is now showing now uh, i can hide the banner i can just show banner again and i can destroy the banner i can request a new banner so so this is it i hope you like the video and uh, thanks for watching